mình qua đây hồi lúc còn rất là nhỏ cho nên tiếng việt bây giờ rất là yếu mà muốn muốn express thì dạ xài tiếng anh chứ xài tiếng việt thì xài tiếng anh tình để mà để mà diễn tả được cái cái cái, cái, uh, cái câu chuyện cho nên so allow me to speak in English for the story. Amen. <cười> 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 I met my wife in uh, high school. Um, we um, finished high school and decided to build a family together. Um, I graduated with a uh, computer uh, software um, uh, as an engineer. I went out and started working. With my engineering uh, income, we were able to uh, buy a home and started to build a family. Then um, I got tired of working uh, as an engineer uh, because we, or well, I realized that that is not where I wanted to be um, and it's not going to give me the financial freedom that I have always been looking for. Uh, also at the time she gave me a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you have read that, it, it talks about getting out of the rat race. So we, I did some research and found out that everybody's going into real estate. So I talked to her, hey honey, uh, I, we cannot get a financial freedom uh, in me and you going to work. Somebody have to go out and do business and real estate is hot right now. So we both decided to, okay, go ahead and give it a try. We're going to give ourselves five years. Um, she was working and I was working as an engineering degree. I make a lot more than she does, but um, I've never thought that I would be going into business because growing up, I grew up in a family that has no business background. Uh, in fact, even to today, my parents just want me to stay safe. Your degree, with your degree, you can do anything. Go work for the state, it's very safe, right? They're not gonna fire you once you're in. But that's not where I wanna be. Uh, but in that arrangement, somehow, I end up being the one who quit my job and go out and do real estate investing. Throughout that time, the entire income for the family falls on her shoulder. We only gave ourselves six months of um, investment capital. We actually burned it up in about three months. But I'm not the one who wants to give up. We said five years, and so you're gonna have to give me five years. After the first year, it didn't go anywhere. Second year, it didn't go anywhere. And every year since then, I keep applying for an extension. She doesn't want to, but because she loves me, she lets me do it. Another while I thought that I was going out there doing real estate investing as a self-employed. I thought I was doing everything, but I was not. So, I'm gonna cut to the chase. Otherwise, it's gonna take a long time. Um, when we were introduced to this business, I wanted to do it, but she doesn't. Because for a long time, I think she had lost faith in me. Because I've tried really fix, nothing works. I'm the man of the house, right? So I'm supposed to be bringing in the money and feeding the family. But I'm not. She is. And over time, I've also lost faith in myself also. Because I failed so much. But we've always been trying to find a way out. We know there's a way out. And we've tried several other network marketing business. And it didn't work out. Nothing works. So when I come to her with this, she didn't want to do it. But last month in October, end of October is my birthday. And the opportunity came back to me again after four years. I said, I didn't say anything to her actually. We have already have planned to have dinner at home. There was another plan to go meet some of the leaders in the region one area. And I didn't tell her about it. I remember them 
during lunch. She went to work, obviously. And they said, you gotta bring her here, you gotta come to the meeting, or else you, go, uh, you are going to hit your head in, the, in your pillow for another four years, because you're gonna miss this opportunity. So after dinner, I said to her, hey honey, let's, uh, let's go out to a party. And she didn't know what party it is, she thought it was my party, it's my birthday. So I brought her to the party. And um, at the party, she saw something, and on the way home, she said, let's give it a try. So last month, we were here at the e, uh, TEU, and we love everything we saw here. The, the thing that hit us the hardest, the thing that we were looking for in a business, we know a lot of the business works, but it doesn't work for everybody, and for us, we have to find a company that is trustworthy with awesome products. We especially need to find people, our leader, that we, have, we trust. And that was our number one criteria is can we trust the leader that we're working with? And at that event, we found our answers. So we make a commitment to come here every month until we succeed. And my new skin story, right now, we have a lot of dreams. There were a lot of things I wanted to do. But back then, I don't have a means to get there. And everything I tried, basically everything I touched failed. I don't want to fail. I do not want to fail at this. Because of all you guys, amazing, amazing leaders and, and everybody here, I know that I cannot fail. And there are a lot of things that I could want from this business, but I do not want anything more right now than to retire my wife so she doesn't have to go to work and we can spend more time together. She loves her kids, she loves me, but man, she has to go to work every morning. Right now, I'm un unemployed. I don't have to go to work, but I cannot do anything for her. Because she still has to get up in the morning, even though she's tired. She has to get up and go to work. Why don't I go to work? I make more money than she does. Why don't I go to work? So I want to go to work. But I do not want to go to work as an engineer. I want to go to work as a new skin distributor. And I want to retire her in a year or two.